So welcome to a Remix version um, of the original chassis. So if you just look back at how this particular chassis used to look like, it used to look like this. You used to have a servo um, holder here, and this servo you'd use for steering control. But if you choose to basically mount the steering control servo on the bottom piece, then potentially that means that top piece or the top servo is available for other things, uh, for an example, ultrasonic. Uh, devices that you can mount on it so here's an updated version of you know the top side um, it's got four mounting holes um, you can use to mount the server uh, you also gonna need one of these those are gonna hold your your, your, your ultrasonic sensor you're gonna have to print an additional you know these babies over here that's going to hold your servo, servo holding your ultra ultrasonic sensor. Um, obviously, print these standoffs as well. They're about 11 millimeters. And then you need to go get uh, these. In fact, I've got one laying around. Uh, these are about 25 there about. Yeah. So get four of those with the corresponding um, nuts. So let's see how it goes. So first off, um, you need to take your servo arm and mount it on, on the side like this. Um, and obviously when you print this thing, it's going to have an option of holes that you can use. Uh, I've just chosen these particular ones. I've designed it so that it corresponds with most of these anyway. So having done that, what you then need to do, we, this one fits uh, the, the SRO45, and by the way, uh, I've, I've uploaded two different designs to cater for the two different ones, SRO45 or HCSR04. Uh, so we're gonna go on ahead and try this one for size. You can either fit it facing forward or backwards, so it's really up to you. So I'll try and fit this thing on, hopefully without breaking it. There we go. So and, and, and I've opted for a tight fit type design so you don't actually need to necessarily use these screws over here or these holes uh, because this thing just um, it just clings by itself by virtue of being tight. So it's on. What you're then going to have to do is at some point push it in over here. But before you do that, you need to grab this and push it in in here. I suppose it helps to get this other screw in. Um, you've got your stand off. And when you push this in, actually, let's just switch it this side because uh, this is the front there we go these are all in once this is in i see there's a bit of space there there we go all in uh, you can then just um, come in on the underside with your uh, with your nuts and just tighten it what you then need to do is uh, you can plug in your uh, your ultrasonic sensor like so as easy as that you've got it fitted in so what I've actually done is I've written a very simple sketch just to show you how you may want to use this particular sensor and let's see if I plug it onto server 2 there we go okay, maybe let's unplug it and change which direction it's pointing to and then we're going to try this again there we go so it can basically and obviously you, you don't want to you don't want it to to turn fast like that otherwise you might just meet some of the obstacles but that's basically how you might want to do it